Ernest Moises Moreno. Nice to see you all again. All right, so uh, for this uh, formative speech, I'm going to talk about uh, what I consider is an amazing person. He's done great things. Um, his name is uh, Dr. Alfredo Quinones. And I read his autobiography. And uh, I think it's, it's amazing uh, what he became because it's, I think it's the perfect definition of living the American dream. Um, he is currently, uh, Dr. Quinones is currently the uh, director of the Brain Tumor uh, Surgery Program. Uh, he's also the professor of neurosurgery, neuroscience, and oncology at John Hopkins uh, Medical Center. And he also leads a research on brain tumor uh, stem cell laboratory, which is uh, dedicates to finding a cure for uh, brain cancer. And uh, Dr. Alfredo Quinones, which is also, he also goes by Dr. Q among his colleagues and patients. Um, he has written many books on neuroscience and neurosurgery uh, as, to serve as guide on his uh, you know, investigations and to you know, provide guidance on other kind of upcoming uh, physicians and, and doctors. So he likes to uh, contribute uh, not only on his field, but he, he often does fundraising uh, such as marathons and other events to get to get the funds for people, uh, for patients that can't afford uh, to pay the medical medical fees, and they desperately look, uh, they desperately need uh, brain surgery. So sometimes he'll do some marathons, like I said, other events. Uh, he also often travels to uh, developing countries to assist in operations uh, uh, to other doctors that they're about to operate on some really delicate uh, cases. Um, they, they don't have the expertise on or the equipment that. He has, and well, I, I thought that you know I think this, this already this is already pretty amazing. He likes to be TV. You know, he's really good at what he does. Um, he like I said, he's a director of you know neurosurgery at one of the top medical centers in the states and probably in, in the entire world. Um, but what I think is the, it's, it's most amazing about it it's uh, it's where it came from. Uh, not too long ago, about maybe 20, 25 years ago, uh, he wasn't Dr. Q at all. He was. Uh, he started by, uh, he was an immigrant, he was a, a farm worker immigrant. He, he was uh, picking tomatoes, that's where, uh, where he used to live. He did some other type of jobs, welding, um, you know, fixing up some stuff, but that's basically where he started at. He immigrated to the U.S. when he was 19, and he was looking for a better life, better opportunity. Uh, he had a, I landed a job there because his uncle used to work there for several years, and, but he decided he, he wanted more than that. So he decided to go to a community college, started learn, learning the language, uh, of course, English. Uh, he graduated, uh, his associates, a uh, friend of him, recommended to transfer to a four-year degree. Uh, he was accepted at uh, UC Berkeley, and he graduated there. And uh, that's him graduated in uh, uh, 1997 at UC Berkeley. And the reason he decided to go into the medical field is because he had two main events. One of them, his little sister died when he uh, was younger. And we're back where he lived at a small village in north northwest Mexico. Uh, there was no medical assistance uh, for her. It wasn't a serious illness, but since there was no nobody to help her out, she died. And the other event was uh, while he was working at the railroad uh, company doing um, some welding, I believe, he was trying to recover some tools that he used uh, that fell inside this big tanker. And he went inside to try to recover them. He didn't realize that the vapors from the chemicals, uh, he inhaled them and he, he passed out. So once he woke up, he was in the hospital and the doctor told him that if he would stay there you know, two minutes longer, he would die. So, you know, the doctor saved his life and the fact that his the, uh, little sister dying made him get into the uh, medical field. He, he applied at Harvard, uh, well, he got accepted by uh, Harvard University, which he graduated with, with honors. Um, this is a, a, a picture of the far right. He's uh, studying in Harvard. This is him when he graduated, and and then you know he became one of the one of the best nearest uh, sur surgeons that, that we have today at the one of the top uh, medical centers in the, in the U.S. 
Uh, that's a, a picture of him dating on his uh, autobiography. That you know, that you're with me. It's, it's inside, and it just kind of represents you know where he came from. He's you know, he started as a farm worker, and uh, now he's one of the best research agents um, that we got. And so you know, he he be a he overcame a lot of obstacles uh, to get there. Uh, a lot of limitations, you know, economically. Uh, I guess the very language uh, at the beginning. Uh, you know, discrimination and just some, just some more obstacles, uh, just to mention a few. So, so for me, you know, I mean, this is like a really good example of uh, you know, living the, the American dream. Um, and that's why I, I decided to share with you guys this, you know, this story. And uh, before I finish, I'm going to just read uh, two lines here from uh, his own autobiography, from some of the reviews that, that uh, they've they given him. And it says, uh, Dr. Q, it's a statement to persistence, hard work, the power of hope and imagination, and the pursuit of excellence. And uh, I agree with that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nice closer. Take it out. <laughs> 